And this is what we're making today, so stay with me. If you are going to embroider or put a detail on the front of your bag, make sure you have that done already. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our lining piece. We're going to place our zipper face up and clip it on. And then we're going to take our front piece and we're going to lay that on face down, clip it on. And then we're just going to stitch all the way across there. Now we're going to take our piece and we're going to open it up and we're going to fold our lining back. And then we're going to top stitch. Now we're going to take our top piece and we're going to lie it on top of the zip. There's no lining piece for the top. You won't actually be seeing it or using it, so there's no need. So again, just clip that on and then stitch all the way across, then open it out and top stitch. Now we can put our zipper pull on. There we go. Now we're going to make our passport pocket, which is really simple. All we need to do is finger press that down. You can do a double fold if you like. Just whatever you think fancy. And I'm just going to top stitch across there. Now this piece becomes a little bit of a sandwich. So we're going to take our outer fabric and we're going to put that on there like that. And then we're going to base stitch to hold that in place. Now you can do all of this at once if you like, or you can do them individually, but then we're going to put that on there. So we've got our lining piece face down, our external piece face up, and then our passport pocket face up. And I'm just gonna place some clips around the edge and then I'm going to base stitch all the way around. Now I'm going to base stitch all the way around the edge. So 
So now we've got our passport pocket. That is the lining for our pocket. So if we open that, you'll be able to see. I won't do that now because I, I don't want that to open. So all we need to do now is base stitch these two pieces together. So again, clip them into place and then all the way around. Now the reason we're doing this is just to make it easier later when we're sewing all our pieces together. Now once we've got all of those clipped into place, let's just base stitch all the way around the edge. So there you go. So now when we open, I'm going to close my zip all the way up. When I open my zip, you'll see that I've got my purple lining. And then on the other side, I've got my passport pocket. So that's the front complete. Now with our card pockets, we're just going to fold them up. So the first one we fold up, then the second line we fold down. The next line we fold up, the next line we fold down, the next line we fold up, the next line we fold down. And that's how we get that. So first of all, what I want to do is just stitch straight across each. So each fold, I just want to do a top stitch. Now I'm just going to fold it all up into place and then I'm just going to run a quick stitch all the way down each side. That's what we end up with. Now we're going to take our back lining piece and we're going to position this into place. Now we want it closer to the top than to the bottom. So with the raw edge, I'm going to put that about there. So it's about an inch and a half from the top. What we're going to do is we're going to fold over the top a little bit. And we're going to fold over the bottom a little bit. And then we're going to do the same with these sides. And then we are going to stitch that onto there. Now you can use some pins to secure it in place if you like because it does get a little bit fiddly. But once you get going you should be right. Alright so we want to go so along there, down there, along the bottom and then back up the side when our edges are all tucked in.
that's all stitched on. Now if we take a card and we just go like that, you'll see that it fits perfect in all those slots. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to take our back panel and we need to base stitch those together as well. So clip them into place. Right, once you've got that on, base stitch all the way around the edge. So now we have our outers and our inners. Easy peasy. Now we're going to start our gusset. Uh, these are the strap connectors, I should say. So let's fold it in half and then fold the edges in. And then we're going to stitch down each side of that. I'm going to do that for both pieces. Okay, let's stitch those. I'm going to take a strap connector and push that through there and I'm simply going to put a clip on the end of it to hold it in place for now. Now the reason I am using these in the lining fabric instead of the outer fabric is literally just because of bulk. Um, so if you're using your lining fabric or your waterproof canvas it's a lot thinner than your outer fabric, generally. So if you're not using anything that's too thick, you can use that, uh, your outer fabric. Now, we are going to put our zipper head on before we start this process so we don't forget. There we go. So we're going to start with our lining facing up, our zipper facing up, our outer fab, oh, nope, our zipper tab, our outer fabric facing down. So you've got Lining, zipper, tab, gusset. And then, this is important, half an inch. You need to leave half an inch allowance and then stitch straight across. When you've done that, then we're going to just simply match up these other sides exactly the same way. So we'll pull the, zip, the zipper tape closer, put that on top, put that on top and stitch as well. We've got one end done, so we'll go to the other end and we're going to place that. I'm going to put our zipper on top. Then we're going to put our strap connector on top. And then we're going to, making sure that it hasn't flipped over at all, we're going to put our outer fabric on top. Spin it around and then again using a half inch seam allowance. Mm 
All right. And now when we turn this out the right way, we have our gusset piece done. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to just base stitch along the sides there and there just to hold those two together. Again, just to make it easy when we're putting everything together. Now, once you've got your gusset, then you can just clip it on. And when you get to these curved parts here with this zip, you might want to just put a couple of little snips in there just to push it out to the corner. And put some clips. And when you've got that done, then you can stitch all the way around, all the way around. Now we've got that on. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the other side. I'm going to find the top center of my panel, bottom center of my panel. There we have it, it fits perfectly. Okay, so again, just stitch all the way around the edges. So here we have our bag now. And now all we have to do is put on our binding. Now, for the binding, there's a number of things you can do. You can either use uh, fabric that you've, binding that you've made yourself, or you can use pre-made binding. So this is just a one inch and I think we'll just go with that today. So we're going to start at the top, <clears throat> no we're not, we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to leave an overhang of about an inch and a half and then we're going to start clipping all the way around.
and once you've got that clipped on you can just stitch all the way around. And now we're just going to fold all of this over and then stitch all the way around again. There we go, our binding on one side is done. So now we just have to repeat that process for the other side. So our binding is now all on. As you can see, it looks fabulous. So turn that out the right way. Okay, and now, <laughs> isn't that adorable? And now it's ready for the strap. So these big thick straps are all the rage at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a canvas strap and we're going to put a waterproof canvas accent detail on it. And we're actually gonna make it really huge. So these are one and a half inch. So let's start at the beginning. We're gonna get the wrong side and we're going to rule a line down the center. And now I'm going to put double-sided tape down the center. I'm going to peel off the backing. And then I'm going to fold the edges into the center. And that's going to give us a one and a half inch wide strap. And then I'm going to press that so it's nice and nice and flat. Yeah. 
And now I'm going to do the same thing with my accent piece. So I'm going to rule a line down the center. I'm going to get double sided tape and <laughs> I like to go this way. So I'm going to place my double sided tape down the center again. Peel off the backing. Some days it's easier to get off than others. All right, and then <clears throat> same thing, fold into the center. Now once that's done, I am going to iron that as well. Yes, I'm going to iron my waterproof canvas. So if you're doing the same, make sure you check your manufacturer's specifications because you don't want to iron something that you're going to ruin. All right. Now we're going to take our thicker strap and we're going to put the side that has the join in it face up. And then we're going to take this one and the the side with the join down so we want to match our joins together and we're just going to center that and then we're going to go to our machine and stitch all the way down both edges now you can do it in a contrasting color or you can do it in a color that matches it doesn't really matter just stitch it on Go slow when you're doing it because you want to make sure that it is centered and even. Now, if you will have trouble uh, lining that up, you can actually put another row of double-sided tape and stick them together. So now we have our strap. You can see it looks pretty groovy. And this side I want to decorate. Now what I did was I created some SVG files and I'm going to apply them with the heat press. So um, I'll position them properly in a minute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put that all the way along. Um, I've got a whole heap here that I need to actually cut out um, or weed out before I put any of my hardware on. So I'm going to go ahead and place all of these and heat press them on and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I have my strap done with 
my files on there and I always put my name on the back. And now we're going to make the strap. So first things first, we need a strap adjuster. No, we'll start at the other end, I think. Okay, now I'm just going to do a fold and a fold. So a double fold. So I've got a double fold there and I don't need it too big. And then I'm just going to stitch straight across there. Got the strap adjuster on. Now I'm going to take this and thread it through and then I'm going to go up and down so now I have that on the end like that and then at our other end, we're going to go through. And again, we're going to do a double fold. Again, we don't need it too big. And then we're just going to stitch straight across there. There is our finished strap. <laughs> How good is that? I'm going to take our little bag. And there we have it. There's our card pockets. On this side, we've got a pocket for our passport. There's plenty of room in the middle there to put your phone, whatever you need in there. Hang on, let's have a look. And we've also got our pocket on the front. But most of all, I'm loving the strap. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. to my channel and like this page and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video is released. Another quirky project by Billy50designs.